Good evening. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between sanity and stupidity, between logical and loony, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Fraudator Zone. In this episode, a sovereign citizen tries to talk his solve sit stuff to an officer, but all that comes out is... <laughs> Good, how you doing? Good. So we got a report, he's, you know, this vehicle driving around, yelling at people going the wrong way on a one way, and we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, well I didn't call you guys, so nope, you should didn't. probably go find them, talk to them. Nope, we had the person call saying, you're you driving around, we're doing that. So well, we're just trying to figure out what's parked, going on, man. So. Well, obviously your car didn't just beam itself there, so obviously you are lying, you donkey. Alright, so where'd you come from initially? That's none of your concern? Well, yeah, it is, because I'm here investigating the situation, man. Okay, what crime have ID? I committed? Well, driving the wrong, wrong way on a one-way. Can you show me where I sh Can you show me where yeah. I went a wrong way? Like I said, man, You can go to talk to the bank out. manager, because they have already talked about this, okay. and I'm, I have no, I'm so, not answering any of your questions. So then why did we get a call? Again, not answering your questions. Okay, what, why did we get a phone call about you Why don't you call the, the person way? who made the call and then find out from them why you received a call. Oh dear donkey, saying you don't answer questions, but then answering a question with a question is still considered answering the question. We, they told us you okay, drove again, I'm not asking or answering you, any questions. And then yelled at them when you, when they, when they again, contacted. I'm not answering any questions. Right, do you have your ID, sir? Again, what crime have I committed and what crime have I been suspected of committing in order to show you my ID? Reckless driving. Okay, can you prove that? Right now, we just have a word. Of Again, we're investigating. that's a word. That is not a crime. It's I'm not giving you my ID until you have shown me where I've committed a crime. Sir, can Again, I see your ID? No, you may not. All right, what's your name? Again, I'm not answering any questions. You're not going to answer any questions? Nope. All right, can we, can we have a conversation then of what no, happened? No, I told you, I'm not answering any questions. Why? Why? Go find the individual that made the call. You have business with them. You don't have any business with me. No, I do we not have consent. Business with you no, you don't. You're the one. They're called about you. So that means our business is also with you. We have to contact the RP. We're going to contact that individual, but we also need to talk to you as well. There's two sides to every story, right? Well, officer, your first mistake is trying to be logical with an illogical person. Your second mistake is trying to be logical with a sovereign citizen. Your third mistake is not just introducing Mr. Sparky and being done with the whole situation. They're given their side of the story. What's your side Again, of the story? Again, go talk to the bank manager or the individuals within the bank or the individual that made the call. I have no I have no business right. with you. We can hang out, but we're hanging out outside your car. Yep. That's the deal. Is that fair? I'll happily go talk to the bank managers and stuff, but you need Am to Am I being detained? Car. At this time, yes. Okay. You have two minutes That's for detainment. Or else what? Exactly. So, I'm on Again, the I understand, and I'm not trying to be a pain, but That's I fine. am not answering your questions because I have no, I do not consent to this, and I ha I'm not the one that called you. You guys should, you need to go find who called you, and you need to have that issue with them. You don't have to be happy about what's going on, I understand that. But when we're investigating a crime, you do have to identify. That is well, one of the few things that that's you That's only have to do. if I am You're convicted of a crime then. and or suspected, then you can arrest me, in which you'll have a lawsuit. I'd rather not do that. One of the things that you are required to do when police are Again, investigating Again, I'm not giving crime, you my ID because I have not been convicted of a crime. You, don't, you can't be convicted of a crime unless we know who we're talking to. Well, that's not how that works. Again, I have not been convicted of a crime. You guys did not physically see it. There is no injured party, and that is a unconstitutional. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Well, you're trying to get me to have a conversation with you, which isn't going to happen. Well, you are having a conversation, so it is happening. Oh, and newsflash. You fucking donkey. You need to go have a conversation again with the individuals within the bank or the person who made the call. 
and that's what he's doing. Okay. So as long as we can sit out here, we don't that's have fine. to talk. Can I put my keys in my pocket? Absolutely. Okay. I put these documents through here? Uh, yeah. There's nothing in them. No worries. It's just what I came to the bank for. Nope. As, as long pen. as we, yep. As long as we can stay outside, I'm, then I then I don't have any issue. That's fine. answer your question before i don't know if you've got the answer the suspected crime is careless driving okay well i'm just i want to see I'm, proof I'm i want to see at proof arguing with you i'm just telling you you asked the Show question me. i'm answering i get that I, I don't have a video camera in okay. my car that watched you do it then you I'm cannot not, be the injured party then i get that I'm just telling you. but you cannot be the injured party you cannot convict me of a crime right now correct I'm because not you are not the one that saw the supposed or alleged thing happened that'd be a witness i'm a cop exactly and so right now you're unlawfully detaining me because you have no proof other than somebody's account of something that may or may not have happened therefore you are accusing me of being guilty instead of presuming innocence yes you are wrong he's presuming ignorance and yes you are because otherwise I would not be quote unquote detained right now and I could get in my vehicle and I could travel away from this area. This is no different than a traffic stop. It, this is different than a traffic stop. Because you have, unlaw again, unlawfully detained me with the quote unquote reasonable suspicion of committing a crime which you do not have any witness, which I have the constitutional right per my Sixth Amendment to see my witness. Where is this witness? You have a right to confront your witness yes. in a court. Okay. That's how that works. You good hanging out for a sec? Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. If you want to hang for a sec. All right, man. So here's where we're at with everything. Check the bank manager. Unfortunately, they don't have cameras in the uh, uh, parking lot. They said that you and another customer got into a little argument out here over driving stuff. Each one seemed to accuse the other one of driving poorly, driving too fast, whatever it may have been. Excuse me, officer, but I just have to correct you before he does. He was traveling, not driving. Okay, continue on. He said you did admit to at one point driving down the wrong way of a one-way street. No, I didn't. Well, that's what the bank manager just told me. No. She said, I, I bet you she said that I, it looked as if, I'm pulling into a parking lot, show Sir, me where the one way is. I'm telling you exactly what she just told me. I want to see where the one way is. And if, where's the one way and I want to see the video? They don't have videos. Okay, sir. well then you cannot convict sir, me of a crime. I'm not, can, can, we, can you let me talk? I'm being very polite and calm. And I'm being irritated because yes, you, you guys are. are preventing me. You guys are illegally detaining me right now. This is called kidnapping at the moment because you are not letting me travel from my it's area not. to continue with my life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is a it's violation not. of my constitutional We're rights. We're detaining you in the investigation of a possible crime. Which okay. We are legally Show me the proof. That's why it's called an investigation, sir. If you'll let me finish talking, we'll get you on your way. No, because you're trying to identify me and I haven't been convicted of a crime. Well, I have not committed a crime either. So part of, so legally. If no, we're not legally. Legal, this sir, is not a stop and ID sir, state. This is not legally, a stop and ID if state. if we are investigating a crime, you are legally required to identify yourself. No, I'm not. You are. I'm not going to push it though, okay? So I'm just going to tell you what the bank manager told me because you told me to go talk to the bank manager, right? I, I told you to go talk to the bank, yes. And what did they do? And so, I told you to find the other individual that quote and my, unquote made and this. And another officer called and spoke with her. Okay. Okay? So let me talk. Continue. Is that go ahead. Fine? I'm, the bank manager told me that you admitted to driving on the wrong, the wrong way on a one way. You two got into a little argument in the parking lot. The other person doesn't want anything done right now. So we're done. Well, then am I free to go? Yes. Then have a good day.
and this little donkey went hee-haw, hee-haw, as he traveled all the way home. Now, I think it's only fitting to present to you